everyone. Welcome to our topic for today, the past perfect tense. And what is the past perfect tense? The past perfect tense talks about two events, two actions that got completed in the past. And we use the past perfect tense to talk about an action that got completed before another event or action in the past. Basically, we are talking about the past of the past. Two actions took place in the past. Now, what do we mean by that? First, let us look at just a sentence in the past perfect tense. For example, the train had left when we reached the station. Now, this is a sentence in the past perfect tense. Now, if we look at this sentence, this sentence has got two actions. Both took place in the past. One is the train left and the other is we reached the station. But among these two sentences, one event or one action took place before the other. Now, the train left, this action got completed or got over before we reached the station. And this is when we use the past perfect to talk about an event that got completed in the past before another event got completed. So we say it as the train had left when we reached the station. So one event, the train had left, that is there. And the other is when we reached the station. These two are in the simple past, but we use the past perfect to just give an order that this took place first and this take, took place after that. But when we write a sentence, the train had left when we reached the station, we can change the order. But we know that one action got completed before the other action. We can also say when we reached the station, the train had left. It will not make any difference to the meaning. The meaning remains the same. Now, how do we form the past perfect? Very easy. The subject plus had plus the past participle and the best part is you don't have to see whether the subject is singular or plural that means I, he, you, he, she, it, they, everything all of them just take hand and along with that the past participle we have referred to the past participle in our previous videos also so just have a look at that you have the regular verbs and the irregular verbs in which we have the past participle form given just a quick re recap the past participle is the third form or what we call as V3 of any given verb. For example, regular verbs play, second verb played and the third form played. No change in that. Okay. These are what we call as the regular verbs. Kick, kicked, kicked. Jump, jumped, jumped. And when we talk about irregular verbs, for example, go. The past tense is went and the past participle will be gone. Similarly, begin. The simple past began and the past participle begun. So with all these past participles, we just take the auxiliary verb. It's a new word for you. If you remember, well and good. Or we also call it as the helping verb, had. So just remember the formation again. Subject plus had plus the past participle. Now, let us look at some situations when we use the past perfect tense. Now, some situations when we use the past perfect tense. The first one, earlier of the two actions, like I had explained before also, the train had left when we reached the station. Or as you can see on your screen, after Manu had finished her homework, she went to play. Two actions took place, which took place before the completion of the work. So after Manu had completed her work, after she had finished her work, she went out to play. We can also reverse the order. She went to play after she had finished her work. But the action which took place will not change. The order will be the same. Then, up to a time in the past, all the students had written their test by 10 a.m. So time was specified over there. It could be any time, yesterday, morning, last week, anything. 
they had finished their work by 10 a.m. Then we also use it with the word before. Mother had cooked the dinner before the guests reached or we can also say before the guests arrived. We can also change the order in the sentence of the action but the order of the events will not change. We can also say before the guests reach or before the guests arrive, mother had cooked dinner. So had cooked the highlighted ones, they are the past perfect tense. Then we have a condition and a result. If I had done this, this would have happened. If I had done so, if I had studied hard, I would have scored good marks. Again, two actions in the past, but one is a condition that if I had studied, what would have been the result? I would have scored good marks. Or we have reported speech. Reported speech is nothing but indirect speech, direct, indirect. That's again another topic which we'll be covering in our future classes. So when someone has said something and you're reporting it and you're saying it, how that person said. For example, mother asked me if I had watered the plant. So that means the watering part should have been done before. So mother asked me if I had watered the plants. So that is what we call as reported speech. So these are few situations when we use the past perfect tense. So you just need to remember the structure. It is subject plus had plus the past participle. So come on, let's apply this knowledge of ours to exercise number one, wherein you have to fill in the blanks with the past perfect tense of the verb that is given in the bracket. So out with your writing materials to jot down your answers. Very easy because you just had to fill in the past perfect. But in every sentence you can see there is also another action or another event which took place. When we had finished our work, we watched TV. So two events, work finishing and watching TV. We combine both of them. When we had finished our work, we watched TV. Ravina failed because she had not studied. This is a past perfect in the negative form. Sheila asked if I had seen her cat, reported speech. By the time the police arrived, the robbers had escaped. Gone. I had visited Mumbai when I was six years old. We are referring to a particular time. Meeta suddenly remembered that she had forgotten her purse at home. So in this sentence, you have easily seen one is simple past and one is the past perfect that we have just seen today. Now one more exercise for you and that's very important because then you have to see whether you have to fill in the blank with the simple past or with the past perfect. So just see the events that are taking place in that particular sentence and the event which takes place before, which took place before, that will be in the past perfect. So let's begin. Answer time. By the time we entered the hall, the movie had started. Okay. So the movie had started. That was the first action that took place in the past. The carpenter went home. When did he go home? After he had finished his work. So had finished that action took place first. Similarly, she had learned baking before she opened her bakery. In the same way the others, the waves washed away the castle that we had built. Okay, castle is a word over there. You can pronounce it as castle or you can also pronounce it as castle. Castle is the American pronunciation, the British pronunciation is castle and we usually follow the British pronunciation. Then, I showed my teacher the essay that I had written. So the writing part took place before and then you went and showed your essay. Faria had studied very well before she appeared for the exam. So this was just a simple topic past perfect. You just have to remember the rules, the instances when it is used 
and of course the structure of the past perfect tense. So that's all in our class today for past perfect tense and it's time to say goodbye so that we can meet again in our next video with a new topic. Goodbye.